Hey everyone, this is David DeFranco from Squarespace Summits with another Squarespace tutorial that goes quite a long way. And that is the ability to sell products on your website. Now in previous tutorials, we have briefly discussed how to sell products via Amazon directly on your website, as well as how to generate revenue selling Amazon products using the Amazon Associates Affiliate Program, which is incredibly useful in many ways, but what if you wanted to sell your own products outside of any usual service, such as Amazon? Well, you can do just that. You can set up your very own store using your very own Squarespace website. So as always, let's get started by entering the Content Manager view by pressing the Escape key on our keyboard. All right, so this is where things get very interesting. We have yet to do this in any of our previous tutorials, and that is clicking on the commerce button, which looks like a dollar sign. So if this is your first time clicking commerce, Squarespace will welcome you to the commerce page, which is huge. And guys, we're not just saying this, I mean, there are tons upon tons of options and features to explore. But for this video's purpose, we're going to keep things as basic as possible. So let's just click Get Started with Commerce. And the first page you'll see is the Getting Started view, which is actually a very nice way of Squarespace walking you through the process of setting up your first store and adding your first products. So step one is to add products. Step two, create a shipping option. Step three, connect your Stripe account. So Squarespace is exclusively using Stripe to handle all payments, including credit cards. And finally, once all is said and done, step four, you can flip the switch to make your site live for the public. So to get started, let's just click on inventory in the left sidebar, and then click on add product in the top right. Now this is important, Squarespace wants you to add a page that is specifically made as a product page. So for now, let's click cancel and go back to our usual content manager view, click add page, and click on products. And guys, you know what, let's just keep it as is. Let's keep it as simple as possible. Let's just say new products, click save. And now this is where you can actually add products directly within your store by clicking the add product button in the top right corner. Now this new pop-up window gives you three choices. You can sell three different types of products. You can sell physical products, you can sell digital products, and you can even sell services such as graphic design services, which is just an example, but obviously you can sell anything you desire. So for now, let's just click digital. So as you can see, Squarespace gives you plenty of options. We're not going to take up too much of your time exploring these because it's pretty self-explanatory, but this is actually really cool. All right, so if I wanted to sell something like a PDF, I could upload it right here within this large white box. I could enter a digital product name, such as YouTube tips. Yeah, tops. There you go, David. Nice job. And you can add a price, let's charge $4.95. But if you want to do a sale price, that's very cool. We can sell it for $3.95 and make that on sale. We can also click additional info up top. And now this is where we can include a longer description of our product. We can click workflow. This is basically the best way of including a custom checkout workflow. So basically if I wanted to collect the customer's name, I could do just that by adding a field and choosing name and make that required as well as their email address and also make that required. So save, then clicking options. We have plenty of options here to make your product that more interesting such as including a thumbnail image. You can customize your product's URL and even cooler is you can actually use a custom add button label. So for example, if you do not want your store to say add to cart, simply say buy now, which is actually a great call to action description. And if you want to feature this product, you can do just that. And finally, in the top right corner, 
you can customize your social settings. So basically, if we add a new product to our online store, Squarespace could automatically share that product to our Twitter page, our Facebook page, our Tumblr blog, and so much more. And then finally, when you're done, click save and publish but of course as you can probably tell I did not fill out all the required information so for this examples purpose we are simply going to click cancel for now and confirm and now keep in mind we are just scratching the surface commerce on Squarespace is huge if you're interested in selling products again whether it's digital or physical or in the form of a service such as graphic design services Squarespace is definitely your go-to platform. And guys, honestly, we think you'll really enjoy it. It's that good. So that is it for this tutorial. We really hope you enjoyed it. And of course, as always, stay tuned for many other tutorials powered by Squarespace Summit over at spacesummit.com.